Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of May 29th, 2016. Did Dinosaurs Have Lips? New findings from University of Toronto vertebrate paleontologist Robert Rice challenge the idea of what theropod dinosaurs might have actually looked like. When we see dinosaurs in popular culture, such as in the movie Jurassic Park, we see them depicted with big teeth sticking out of their mouths, Rice says. Large dinosaurs such as Tyrannosaurus rex bear a ferocious grin, while smaller creatures such as Velociraptors are shown with scaly lips covering their teeth. For clues about how theropods might have appeared, he looked to modern-day reptilian predators like crocodiles and monitor lizards. According to Rice, lipless crocodiles have exposed teeth, much like the Jurassic Park T-Rex, while monitor lizards conceal teeth behind scaly lips that are similar to the movie version of the Velociraptors. Lips help to protect teeth, in part by helping to enclose them in a moist environment where they won't dry out. Crocodiles, which spend their time submerged in water, don't need lips for protection. Their teeth are kept hydrated by an aquatic environment. Reptiles with lips, such as monitor lizards, typically live on land, where their teeth require different protection. From this, Rice concludes that dinosaur teeth would have likely been covered by scaly lips. It's also important to remember that teeth would have been partially covered by gums. If we look at where the enamel stops, we can see that a substantial portion of the teeth would be hidden in the gums. The teeth would have appeared much smaller on a living animal. In popular culture, we imagine dinosaurs as more ferocious looking, but that is not the case. A new version of the Jurassic World 3D project by Michael Pierce is now available for download. This interactive program for PC and Mac lets you explore a fully fleshed out recreation of Jurassic World and its many attractions, sites, and landmarks. In this new updated version, we're getting our first chance to actually ride in the gyrosphere. Explore Gyrosphere Valley in all its beauty in this automated tour. The valley will become populated with dinosaurs in future updates, but currently a park guide will give you full commentary on the environment and history of the park. Also new in this version is an animated model of Blue the Velociraptor. She can be found in the raptor paddock on the island. In case you've had any trouble running the Jurassic World 3D project on your computer, they have released a basic version as well. The basic edition closes in the rendering distance and removes all dynamic light and sky rendering, which should mean a higher frame rate and smoother experience on all computers. In a future update, we can expect to see the T-Rex come to Isla Nublar. She is just beginning her texturing phase, but should be showing up in the park before the end of the year. Have fun exploring Jurassic World and stay tuned for new updates in the future. A link to download is in the description below. Be sure to enter our free giveaway going on now for your chance to win the hybrid effects Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue playset and more. See the contest video on the channel to enter and for more information. And check out DinosaurStop.com where you can stay up to date on dinosaur news, check out fun dinosaur places to visit, watch videos and more. That's all for this week. And until next time. Wow.